Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. Today we are going to understand a very interesting concept known as Solo's Residual. But before we understand this concept, let's get some perspective. So we are talking about the economist Robert Solo. Robert Solo gave a very interesting way of explaining long run growth, long run growth or long run growth model. Now in economics, there are different growth models which basically tell about steady growth. This was a model which was based on neoclassical concept. Neoclassical concept. Now, what, is, what does neoclassical concept mean? Neoclassical concept is a hybrid kind of a concept which takes basics of classical model, basic parameters like capital accumulation or savings. So they will take basics of the classical model, but will have some additional um, indicator. So that's why it's a neoclassical model. It operates majorly on the classical functionalities and uh, classical indicators. But the change or the difference that this model has is the exogenously included technology. So we have a different, different concept over here which actually um, let Robert Solo take the Nobel Prize. Now this concept was the exogenous technology exogenously taken technology was a basic factor which was talked by solo and in his whole growth model so basically he said that uh, when he took the example of US um, in his growth model explanation, he said that 80% of the US's production or output is increasing because of innovation and technology. Now, the growth models and the economic growth, uh, let's say, theories that were coming during that time uh, did not pay much attention to the exogenous indicators or they did not... Uh, take much attention to the exogenous indicators that have an impact over the inputs. So this neoclassical growth model becomes more special because it does not only include inputs which are labor and capital. So these are the two inputs that definitely were taken by Robert Solo. But Apart from this, he also said that the production function has an exogenous indicator, which although is outside the production function, but has an impact over these inputs. Okay, and which basically is the fundamental for what we are going to learn today, which is the Solo's residual. Solo mentioned one interesting thing in his growth model that the output usually in an economy output grows beyond output grows beyond the growth in inputs This is a statement that you will see in many uh, books and research papers regarding Solo's economic growth model. So he specifically said that the growth in the output, usually there's the when the production function operates in an economy and in the whole growth process, we know that there are certain inputs and there's a certain output that comes out from these inputs. And there's a functional relationship between the input and output. Now, Solo said that these inputs should also grow along with the growth in output because the expansion of different industries is taking place with the growth in the economy. The expansion of different units is taking place in, with the growth in the economy. So with the growth in output, there has to be an increase in the inputs as well. Now he said that there is a difference though. 
inputs are also increasing the growth in output is also happening but the growth in output is growing much beyond the growth in inputs why is that so he found out that majorly the economists previously were ignoring some important things that were happening during the growth process and these important things were innovation invention discoveries research solutions technology or technological advancements when the economy grows economy will also have automatically the technological advancements there will be new inventions in the economy new discoveries in the economy there will be people who are going to be innovators who are going to uh, discover something new for the growth purpose or due to the growth in the economy there will be enough money in the economy so that the economy can research and through that research there can be really immense uh, important findings now all of this is also taking place during the development during the growth in the economy and which is why along with the inputs which is precisely labor and capital which is basically kept as very simplistic input okay so labor and capital is growing but because of all of these things the output is growing much beyond the growth of inputs and which uh designates a gap between the growth of output and growth in inputs and that gap or that uh success of output is called as the solos residual this is a very interesting concept because uh, during the time where this uh, research came uh, where the neoclassical growth theory research paper came uh, that time this was not very uh, fundamental and after this theory there were many economists who read the papers given by solo who read the research and they talked about okay this is what the uh, this is what the economist solo is talking about which is solo's residual solo's residual is not a uh, not a term coined by robert solo this was a term which was later given according to the analysis of the research given by robert solo later the economists started talking it as solo's residual this concept is also famously called as so we have solo's residual which is also called as the total factor productivity the total factor productivity tfp reason for this is very simple that solo actually has involved the technology and innovations inventions as a very important and integral part which impacts the productivity of existing labor and capital which are the inputs so when something which is exogenously taken in the production function impacts positively uh, on the inputs uh, included in the production function then that will increase the factor of productivity and so this total factor of productivity is calculated through a very derived formula but we have a very simplistic way of calculating it that we can right now learn for better understanding so when we talk about total factor productivity we take y which is the total output that is produced in the economy the total income okay so from that we reduce what do we reduce so the formula goes like this wl plus r k okay now what does this mean what does this formula mean so from the tot when we have to find out solo's residual or total factor productivity it means that this is your this is the total output 
and from that there's a certain amount that has to be reduced this is the share of labor in the process of production okay so this is share of labor input l of course is the growth in labor the growth rate of labor or growth in labor okay r over here r represents the share of capital share of capital that is the share of capital that is used for production process okay and the k of course represents the growth in capital so we what what do we do share of labor or the proportion of labor that is used in the production function we multiply it with the growth that has happened in the labor okay and then we add to this the share of capital that has been used in the production function and multiply it with the growth in the capital when we get this we actually get the growth overall that has taken place in the inputs that were used in the production process in the production function and we reduce it from the total output when we reduce that we get that growth gap between inputs and outputs which then we can call as the total factor of productivity or solo's residual now this interesting factor that we know as solo's residual is something that is usually asked in even competitive examinations or even for uh, you know different uh, even in research we usually study this in economics and which is why it becomes a very very important topic so i hope that this video have uh, has told you everything that you require to learn about solo's residual i hope that you will engage in the neoclassical growth model given by robert solo in much depth from this time and we will bring much more such uh, interesting topics to you uh, in the future as well so till then stay tuned to ecoholics and for detailed uh, analysis and detailed learning about all such topics download the app of ecoholics thank you <laughs>